guys, so I'm filming this video today. I already have my eyes done, my eyebrows done. I'm filming a video on these two beauty sponges. These are by Danielle. They're the Danielle Fusion Beauty Blending Sponges. I found these at Ross for $4 each. They're super, super, duper, duper soft. These are, they were smaller. They were super small when I got them. But as soon as I wet them when I washed them last night, in order for this video, they grew in big size. So, like, they're still a little bit damp, but not super damp. And I don't always damp my beauty blenders all the time. So, I'm going to test these on my face. So, I got both of them because they both look super cute. And I never have... I, the only beauty sponge I own was, is this one, the Real Technique one. So, I'm not used to this bottom. So, I want to test it out to blend it like this. Because, you know, I'm always going... And this just wipes away the product, which is what I've noticed. So I want to try it with these. So to blend out, I'm going to use the black one today. Now, I'm going to use the white and black one, this one. And the foundation I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in Golden Beige 104. I'm going to put some on my little tray here that I have. And I'm going to go in. So far, I feel like it's blending out so well, and it's not absorbing that much product compared to the Real Techniques one. I'm gonna go in for another bump. I feel like this is actually. better on the Real Technique sponge in all honesty from just using this once like you can see the amazing coverage this thing just gave me I think this thing is so soft Like, it already blended out. It's already blended out. Perfect going to the side of the nose. Literally. And this is how it looks at the end. It didn't absorb that much product. I feel like I can still... See, look, it's like sitting there. So, like, I go in my hand and I get products on my hand. So, like, I'm going to do the rest of my face with this sponge. I was going to compare it with these two, but I like this sponge so much better that I'm not even going to use the Real Techniques one. Screw it. Well, somewhere to the floor. Oh, well. Just hope my dog doesn't get to it. Like, this thing is amazing. Do my forehead? Like, this sponge is Oh my god. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm in love, guys. Like, I still have product on here that I'm, like, literally distributing everywhere. Like, straight up. And it just picks up product like you would not believe like I'm just gonna add a little more of my foundation because I want a little bit more coverage in this area and I know this foundation is like buildable so I know it's buildable
rub the redness I got there. Like, this thing is amazing. Like, guys, I suggest instead of buying the Real Techniques one, instead of buying the Beauty Blender, I suggest you buy this. Like, this sponge it gets an A. This thing gets an A. Like, an A. And, like, I'm usually scared of picking up any Beauty Blenders that I see anywhere. Like, I don't own the original one, but, like, I usually always stick to my Real Techniques one, which is... Which is right here. I usually always go for this one, but like, I'm just, but like this one was open. I saw this one was open, so I was like touching. I was like, this shit's so soft. So that's why I got both of them. But yeah, like, my face is done. Like straight up. Like look at that. That like, I look flawless. I bet you I look flawless. Go straight in with some concealer. I'm gonna do some NYX concealer. Open this shit. Literally, like, my skin is so yellow tone that I can literally use yellow concealer without fucking. Without actually having to put on concealer. straight up and this is a thicker concealer so we're gonna test it out with the sponge we're gonna try the other end and I'm pushing it in to my skin Yeah, guys, I know my hair's a mess. Like, I was parting it to the side. So, like, yeah. I... This thing is a blending god. Like, oh my god. We're also going to use a sponge to set the under eye with the NYX Pro H HD Finishing Powder and Banana. Put that on the sponge. Uh, we're going to set this bitch. Straight up, guys, like, this stuff, the sponge is, like, sent from heaven, like, you need this. You need this sponge in your life, in your life. It looks more dirty because obviously I just used it and because it has white on it, but, like, to be honest, like, this thing is the bomb. So, yes, my ending review on the Danielle Beauty Sponges, Fusion Beauty Pro Sponges, are that these are a go. Like, they're a go. Oh, let me show you the packaging they come in. They come in, this is the box they come in. Danielle Fusion Pro. They were $4.99 at Ross. If you can't find them at Ross, you can also find them at TJ Maxx. I've seen them there before. They come in so many different colors. Like, it's not even funny. Because I've seen them in TG Maxx in, like, reds, pinks, purples. But I never really grabbed them because I was scared. You get me? I'm scared of trying beauty blunches. Sometimes they end up bad and I grab them. And then they just look horrible. They're just so hard. But these are so soft. So, my ending view on these sponges 
that these get an A plus 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 plus. I will not be repurchasing the Real Technique sponge. One, and it's already ripping anyways. This was better made out of a better material that doesn't soak up so much product compared to this one. So, these two against each other, this one wins. I will not be repurchasing this. So, yes. This completes this video. I hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing the rest of my makeup off camera. So, thank you. Bye.